Hello and welcome to special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. At the end of this tutorial, we learn how to animate fire in Flash. The techniques we'll be using in this tutorial are creating a symbol, mask layers, and motion twin. Let's begin by pressing Ctrl N to create a new document. Start by selecting red color in the fill option. Now, select the rectangle tool, press R. Draw a vertical rectangle on your screen. Double click on the outline and delete it. Now, select the eraser tool, press E. Begin creating some rough edges in the right side of your rectangle. These will become the waves of your fire later. The more the edges, the rougher the fire. Next, choose the brush tool. Press B and select the use pressure option. Put some strokes around the rough edges. This will add some sparks to our fire. Done. Now select all objects on the screen. Press Ctrl A. Hold down the Alt key. Click on the selection and drag it to make a copy. Let's place the two rectangles above one another. Use the eraser tool, press E to smoothen the joint. Alright, now it's time to turn it into a symbol. Again, select all objects on the screen, press Ctrl A and press F8. In the dialog box, give the symbol a name, like FG. Select the graphic button and click OK. Now let's edit the graphic a bit. Double click on the graphic to enter it. Use the select tool and extend the width of the fire rectangle. Keep the snap mode active. That will ensure the sides are perpendicular. Now while you are inside the symbol FG, Select the rectangle, press Ctrl A and convert it into a symbol again. Press F8. Name it HGH. Choose the graphic button and click OK. Let's turn to the time frame now. Click on the Add Layer tab. Select the key on frame 1. Hold down the Alt key and drag the keyframe to the new layer. Now. Select the shape and rotate it a bit. Now, select the shape on the other layer. Go to the Modify menu, Transform and click on Flip Horizontal. Rotate this shape a little. Adjust the top and bottom of the two rectangles symmetrically to make an X shape. You can switch off the Snap tool if it's not allowing this. Back to the time frame. Select the 40th frame of both layers and press F6 to create a keyframe. Select both the keyframes and right click on them. Choose Motion Twin. Select the 40th keyframe on one layer and push the shape upwards in the angle of its slope. Do the same for the other layer. The X shape should now look like a V. Go to the layer panel Select the upper layer, right click to select Mask. Press Enter key to see how the animation is shaping up. That seems good enough. Remember, all this time we have been working inside the symbol FG. Now, click in the open space to exit the symbol. Click on the 40th frame and press F5 to create a frame. Remember, we used 40 frames inside the symbol. So, we should use 40 frames outside it too. Now, let's preview the animation. Press Ctrl Enter for preview. Looks okay. But we need to add some shades to the fire. On the layer panel, click the Add Layer tab. Hold down the Alt key. Click on the first layer frame and drag it into the new layer. We now have a duplicate layer. Select the keyframe of the upper layer and push it 1 or 2 cm down. Now, go to the Properties tab. In the Color option, select Tint and change the color to orange 50%. Now, 
Press Ctrl plus Alt plus S to bring up the scale and rotate dialog box. Scale it down to 80% and click OK. Adjust it into the center of the red fire. In the Properties tab, Loop Option, enter 15. This will add variation to the fire. Now, hold down the Alt key and drag the orange fire to make a copy. Push it down to the center of the orange fire. Change its color to light orange 74% to make the bright core of the fire. Go to the layer panel and click on add layer tab. Press R. Draw a filled up rectangular patch to cover the upper part of the fire object. Right click on the new layer and select mask. To see the mask at work, lock the layers. The bottom layer is still showing. So, to bring it under the mask, click and drag it under the mask layer. Adjust the layers. Press Ctrl Enter to preview the effect. Good. Now let's give some finishing touches to the fire. First, unlock layer 2 and put the mask layer on the outline mode. Now, we can work on layer 2. Double click on the orange fire symbol to enter symbol FG. Unlock both the layers and put the mask layer on outline mode. Select the first keyframe on layer 2. Press Ctrl C to copy the object. Click on the add layer tab and press Ctrl V to paste the object. Press Ctrl plus T to open the transform window and enter the rotation value to 0 degrees. That will make it easy to work on the fire. Double click on this graphic to enter symbol HGH. Press E to choose the eraser tool and begin refining the edges of the fire. After every change, you can preview the result by pressing Ctrl Enter. The rule is, the more abrupt edges you add to fire, the more it blazes. You can also add sparks with the brush tool for that extra ferocious effect. You can choose a smaller tip for your eraser in the modes option. To make your fire a bit more realistic, you can also do some intricate work on the interiors. Remember, fire is not solid. We can see through fire. So, you can cut the interiors at random. Do preview the result frequently. That will help you judge how blazing or realistic you want your fire to be. Done with your editing, now preview the result. Looks good. You can experiment with different colors and create blue fires, green fires and achieve amazing fires. In the next tutorial, we'll go one step further and show you how to create much more realistic and artistic fires. So, go on, make your own fire. We hope you enjoyed this fire animation tutorial by Aroha Media. Thank you.